10 awesome gift ideas for the gadget lover in your life. If you're looking for inspiration for gifts for the gadget lover in your life, whether it's for birthday, Christmas, or just because you love them, this video is my roundup of the 10 best gadgets you might want to buy for them. As always, you can check out more details and purchasing links for all the gadgets in the video description, so please check those out to help support this channel too. All right then, let's get started. In at number one, it's the Google Home Mini or Amazon Alexa Dot. These digital assistants have taken the world by storm in the last couple of years, so if the person you're buying for hasn't already got a smart assistant in their home, I'm sure they'll love either a Google Home Mini or an Amazon Alexa Dot. You can ask it questions, listen to music, play radio stations, ask for directions and weather forecasts, and lots more. You can also use them to control your smart home gadgets like TVs, lighting and plug sockets with your voice too. Have you not got any smart home gadgets? Well, you're in luck, they're coming up next. In at number two is the Smart Wi-Fi Plug. These clever little plugs let you turn anything in your house on or off via a mobile app on your phone, automatically on a schedule, or simply with your voice if you have a Google Home or Amazon Alexa. They're great for things like Christmas tree lights, your coffee maker, or that lamp that you can never quite be bothered to get up to to switch on. At number three, the Smart Wi-Fi LED Light Bulb. If you grew up in the 90s, then you'll probably remember the scene from Friends where Monica dates a billionaire and his luxurious and futuristic home lets you turn on the lights just by speaking. Well, that's now a reality for the non-millionaires amongst us too. With this smart Wi-Fi LED light bulb, you can control the main lights in a room either via the app on your phone or, if you have one, by just shouting at your Google Home or Amazon Alexa. You can ask nicely too, that also works. Plus, it's dimmable, so you can even turn down the lights when it's nearly bedtime to help you wind down. They're great for being super lazy and turning lights up and down or on and off, and you can also control them when you're away from home to make your house look occupied and keep thieves away. Number four, the Google Chromecast or Chromecast Audio. These are two must-have gadgets for any film, TV or music lovers, and it's something else you can control by voice with your Google Home or via various supported apps on your smartphone, tablet or even PC. The Chromecast is a little dongle which plugs into the HDMI port of your TV, whilst the Chromecast Audio plugs with a 3.5mm jack into a set of speakers or your hi-fi system. Once connected, you can play videos from Netflix, YouTube, BBC iPlayer and all other TV services, plus Facebook and pretty much any video or web page from the Chrome browser. It basically turns your TV into the smartest of smart TVs which can play anything, no matter how old your TV is. The Chromecast Audio lets you play music from apps like Google Play Music or Spotify, and if you have more than one, you can group them to play the same tracks in sync for a multi-room setup. And it includes your Google Home devices as well for even more speakers throughout the house. It's great for parties when you want the same music playing in each room, but at a level quiet enough so that people can talk too. Number five, the Amazon Fire TV Stick. For those in the Amazon ecosystem, never fear, you can get your hands on the Fire TV Stick, which does more or less the same thing as the Google Chromecast. You can, of course, play Amazon Prime videos with it as well, which you can't do on the Google Chromecast. I wonder why not? The Fire TV Stick is also ideal for people who like to have a separate physical and dedicated remote control. This has got you covered. At number six, it's the Kiwi Design Google Home Mini Battery. This clever little gadget from Kiwi Design is essentially just a USB power pack, but by virtue of its clever design to house the Google Home Mini, it's worth much more than the sum of its parts. Once it's charged up, you can fit your Google Home Mini inside it like this, and then take it with you around your house and garden, anywhere your Wi-Fi reaches, making it truly wireless. So next time you want to listen to some tunes in your garden, or maybe even take it with you into the bath, this is what you need. Oh, the B-roll footage of me in the bath listening to music on my Google Home Mini seems to have gone missing. Sorry about that. In the interest of full disclosure, I was set this free by the manufacturer, but I'm not being paid to review this, so here's my honest opinion. The unit feels very solid and really well made, and comes in a range of colours to suit your Google Home Mini. The wrist strap is a nice touch too, so you can hang it up. Plus, as it's basically a big battery pack, you could always use it to charge your phone in an emergency if you're running low. I'm giving this one away to one lucky subscriber to the channel, so for your chance to win it, see the details at the end of this video. And if you're not lucky enough to win, don't worry, there's a 20% discount code in the video description too. Number seven, a laptop privacy screen. This next one is for anyone who works on a laptop when out and about, whether that's on the train, in a coffee shop, or in an open plan office. 
If you're ever worried about people looking over your shoulder and seeing what's on your screen, then you can fit a privacy screen like this, which dramatically reduces the viewing angle of your screen so that you, and only you, can see it when you're sat at it looking straight forward, but anyone to the side of you just sees a blank screen. Again, full disclosure, I was sent this for free by 3M, but they're not paying me, so this is my honest opinion. When you compare what you see of the screen with and without the shield, it's really pretty impressive. Plus, if your laptop has a touchscreen like mine, you don't need to worry about losing touch functionality, as that still works just fine. With something like this, this instantly increases the number of places you'll feel comfortable working in. Or, to look at it another way, it increases the list of tasks you can do on your laptop in any given place, as privacy can be much less of a concern. Brilliant. In at number eight is the brilliant quad lock system for mounting your smartphone anywhere. I personally use this on my road bike handlebars for running Strava and in my car for using Google Maps as a sat nav. It's great because it's a single compatible system which works in all places, so after attaching the extremely secure universal adapter to the back of my phone case, I can easily switch it between my bike handlebars and my car dashboard. If I fancy going for a run, I can use the arm pad and both track my run with Strava and listen to music at the same time. And they even make a mount for motorbikes too. You can buy dedicated phone cases with the mount built in for most of the most popular smartphones on the market. But if yours isn't one of those or you prefer to use your own case, you can buy the universal mount which fits to anything. You don't need to worry about it falling off either. I read one reviewer who said they crashed their bike at 40 miles an hour and their phone stayed solidly fixed to the handlebars. So much so that they then had to show the kind member of the public how to unhook their phone so they could call an ambulance. Number nine, a subscription to Audible. I'd love to have more time to read books, but with work, family and looking after kids, etc., it's hard to find the time. That's why audiobooks are great, because you can listen to books instead. So whether you drive, cycle or get public transport to work, you can listen to all the books you'd never have time to read otherwise. If you've not heard of it, Audible is a service from Amazon and it lets you choose from a library of over 200,000 audiobooks. You pay a small monthly fee which includes a credit for one book a month and you can swap books in your library at any time. Every audiobook you buy is yours to keep, even if you cancel. You can download the app to your smartphone or tablet and listen anywhere. To get a 30-day trial absolutely free, click the link in the video description. At number 10 is the Netgear Orbi Whole Home Wi-Fi Mesh System. The Wi-Fi in your house probably sucks. Most people's wireless routers are the ones that come free from your internet service provider, and they're usually rubbish. Despite all the marketing and the adverts saying they kick out a really strong signal and reach to all areas of your house, blah, blah, blah. It can be hugely frustrating when you pay for a good internet service and do actually receive one, but then the actual Wi-Fi beaming it to your devices lets you down by being slow or intermittent. That's where a mesh system comes in. As well as actually being a good wireless router in the first place, the Netgear Orbi system gives you additional units that you can place elsewhere in your home or office to ensure they get a full covering as well. This works much better than using Wi-Fi extenders or repeaters, as they often use half the available bandwidth on the signal back to your main router, meaning slow speeds, or power line plugs using your home's electrical wiring, which does work, but never gives you the best speed. A mesh system like Netgear Orbi uses either a dedicated high-speed wireless link back to the main router, or can even use a proper hardwired connection if you have the cabling, meaning you get the full speed of internet access that you're paying for, regardless of where you are in your house. Plus, there's just one Wi-Fi network name throughout your whole house. Your devices like smartphones and tablets will seamlessly switch connection to the nearest and strongest unit without you even knowing about it. So no more irritating upstairs and downstairs network names and constantly having to switch between the two. As well as the Netgear Orbi, you might also want to consider the Google Wi-Fi mesh system. They're both excellent, and the Google is especially good if you're not hugely technical and want a super easy setup, all done via a mobile app, and don't need to delve deep into advanced settings. There are links for both in the video description. Competition time! We're giving away a Netgear Orbi system to one lucky subscriber, as well as the portable battery featured earlier on for the Google Home Mini. For more information and to enter both competitions, click the link in the video description. So, those are my top 10 gifts that I think you should consider if you're looking for a present for a gadget lover this year. If you buy any of them, please do click the links in the video description to help this channel, which is very much appreciated. What do you think of the selection? What would you put in your top 10? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, then please click the logo on screen now to do that. We cover a range of topics, including technology, gadgets, and the internet on this channel, so you'll be glad you subscribed. And you can also check out some of our other videos from the channel on screen now too. Don't forget to enter the competitions. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next video.